Hello everybody. Do you have a car such as this? This is my 2015 Volvo S60 with the 2 liter uh, 4 cylinder engine turbocharged with Drive E which means it has that start stop feature. Um, or any other Volvo that has that start stop feature. They call it Drive E. Um, and does does it not work? Um, yeah, it's kind of kind of a pain, isn't it? If you look at my previous video, I have one where I show you how to replace the battery in this car, the start battery. Um, it maybe you're sitting in your driveway. Um, you just got home from a long day of work. You pull up, and just as you start uh, or pull up in the driveway, your favorite song comes on. And you think, oh great, I want to listen to my song before I go inside. You turn the car off and just sit there in solitude listening to your song. 30 seconds later, you get that message that says um, infotainment system is shutting down to low, due to low uh, battery condition or something like that. What? Okay, so that's when you watch the video and replace the battery in the car. And you notice that your start-stop feature hasn't been working either. So you think, oh great, I'm gonna replace the battery and the start-stop function is gonna work again. And maybe for a short while it does. Or maybe it doesn't start working at all. So you're like, um, what's the deal? Why isn't my start-stop feature working? If you go into the settings on the car to that um, start-stop feature, you may get a message that says uh, start-stop feature has been disabled due to temperature or low voltage condition too, or battery condition, something like that. So at this point, you've done what you think is right. You've programmed or you've replaced the battery. You've unplugged the battery life monitor indicator thingy on when you did your battery replacement. Life should be good. This thing should be working and it's not. And you are now as frustrated as a Kardashian with a pimple on your forehead the size of Montana. Okay, personally I think that would be kind of funny, but I imagine they'd be a little frustrated by that. So what could be the problem? Well, there's two things that may be the problem on this that I know of. Now, if you're a mechanic, if you're an engineer on these things, that you may be able to say there's a hundred other things that it could be too. I'm not. I'm a, I'm a car owner. That's it. I'm just an individual that owns one of these that's had to uh, do a little work on it myself because I like to save a few bucks. I enjoy doing my own work. And there's a couple of things I've come across. One is there's actually a reset procedure you can go through that has the car, it deletes all the information that the car has about the condition of the batteries in the car. Um, and it will force the car to go through and relearn the actual charging abilities, the discharge rates, the holding capacities and all that of the batteries in the car so that it knows whether or not they're capable of uh, making use of the start-stop system. It, it knows what the ability of the batteries is so it's not using old information maybe for that worn down battery from before. So. That's the first item. Let me go show you how to reset that. It's very easy. It's a little wonky, but it's easy. Let's go take a look. Okay, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get in the car with the key in your pocket or inside the car in some condition. Well, there is a there's a bird out here that is screaming bloody murdy, murder or something. Um, you wanna turn the car on by hitting the start stop button. Do not have your foot on the brakes. You don't wanna start the car, just turn it on. Now I'm not gonna go through this full procedure because I don't wanna reset this on my battery um, or reset this on my car because it works, everything works properly on my car. When I replaced the battery, by the way, my start stop worked for about a month and then it stopped working. So I learned about this procedure. I did this, it's been six months or more and it's worked fine since. So you turn the car on, Oops, apparently, turn the radio and everything down. You're going to want to look over here, turn your dial for your lights to the far right position there. 
you're going to want to hit the fog light button six times. That means you turn on and off three times, which is six times. And then you come over here and press your hazard lights three times. On the screen here, when you do that, you're going to see a battery indicator blink three times. When you've done that, you've done great. Turn your car off by hitting the button up here. Get out of the car, lock the doors, walk away. You want to do this sometime, like last thing you do before the end of the day or something. Um, like maybe right before you get your PJs on or whatever for bed. And then um, just let it sit overnight. And then drive it normally, and usually within about a day or two of normal driving, it will have gone through and completely relearned the ability of the charging system to charge the batteries and the charge and discharge rates for the batteries and your start stop function should start working again I mean it may start working the next morning that's exactly what mine did but if that doesn't work or your start stop function still doesn't work after this there's another thing that could be wrong and if you've been paying attention you've noticed I've said batteries this car has a secret that I didn't know about until somebody pointed it out. Let's pop the hood and I'm going to take you under the hood and show you something I didn't know. And it's, I, I would have never figured it out if nobody, if somebody wouldn't have been nice enough to point it out for me. So thank you, kind stranger. Now, we're under the hood of the car. And you already know from previous that if you look up under here, you see the start-stop battery. There's another battery hiding in this car. And if you have the US or any kind of left-hand drive versions, you're going to find there's another battery under here hiding under the cowl. If you have the European version, it'll be hiding over here somewhere, the right-hand drive cars. Um, but you have to remove this cowl piece here to get to it. Thankfully, that is very easy to do. You've got one little holder right here that uh, allows you to pull this plastic piece up uh, and a couple of clips. This, this whole thing pulls off very easy if you need to. There's a couple of little clips here that you've got to pop out. And then you can lift this up and take that battery out. I'm not going to take it out this off completely, but I'm going to remove this enough to show you guys what you need to do. All right, let's see how much of this you can see. Over here, this right here. Let's see if I can get you set up and stable here. This there's a little thing in the center that you got to push down. I think that's the one that you got to push down. Yeah, you got to just push it down and that little piece will lift out right there. And see this little, this, just push it back up in there to reset it. Set that off to the side. We're going to, I'm going to put that in my pocket. Now, you can just pull this whole thing out. See, this just sets right in the little thing there. And you can pull it out up here too, I don't really need to. Now, notice up here, yep, yeah, let's get that thing out of the way. Um, notice up here, there's a piece too. This, needs to be lifted up. gently like so and then this whole whole thing will come out be careful with it As you can see, it can be a little bit of a pain. You just kind of got to wiggle at it.
There it goes. And when you push this back in, it resets it. Put that in my pocket. Now, there's one of those right over here too. Let's see if this comes off a little bit easier. I could probably use a thinner screwdriver. The one I've got super thick. If you've got one of these removal tools for it that looks like a little fork that'll get under here, that would be preferable. I'm having to make do the best I can here. Here we go. If you get that whole thing out like that, then this comes out really easy. So, But... Looky. There's a battery right there. <laughs> you can pull this up enough right there to get to that battery. It's a small battery. It's a 12 volt, 10 amp hour battery. Thankfully, it doesn't cost much. These things are only about 80 bucks or so. But that little sucker, that little secret, augments that big one over there when the start-stop conditions occur. Now, I haven't dove into exactly what the role of each battery is, but it's something along the lines of that is a support battery that will support the start-stop feature um, while the car is not running or something like that. When you're in heavy traffic especially, like doing a lot of in-town driving in the car, starting and stopping, starting and stopping. That's hard on this battery. It takes a lot of energy to start your car. Your charging system has to recharge that battery back up to optimum levels to function properly. And if it's starting and stopping a lot and that alternator is not running while it's um, at a stop, then it doesn't have the opportunity to do the charging portion there. This battery helps augment that system so that when the car is off, there's no drain on this battery or there's less drain on this battery, and it helps boost the starting capability of that battery. Now, that's, that's what I think is happening. It's, it's difficult to get really straight information, and like I said, I haven't dug that deep. But if your start-stop function isn't working on your Drive E Volvo, you're going to probably have one of two things happening. Either you need to do that reset procedure after replacing your primary battery, or that battery is bad, or both. You may, may need to replace them both at the same time, who knows, the situation is always going to be unique for you. But unless you know that that battery exists, you don't know that it needs to be replaced or could potentially need to be replaced. So that was the purpose of this video to let you guys know that this thing even exists in the first place because I had no idea. Uh, there's not a lot of literature out there to even tell you about this stuff. So if I can help somebody out and pass that word along, then I feel obligated to do so. So that's it for today, really. Just a little bit of a rant about to, uh, the stop start um, for your Volvo and hopefully you got something out of it. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.